Hey everybody, Mike Kip with Frontier Log and Timber Homes. We're mobilizing off the job site today. We're finished up with these repairs that we've made to this beautiful log house. And uh, repairs consisted of a variety of very technical uh, repairs. Uh, for instance, this bottom log on this truss that was rotten. Um, the previous log had a flat cut on top there, which water just sat up there and and then, uh, you know, the excessive moisture over time and being a structural log, we had to get in there and tear the roof back and pull that truss out of there and craft a new log in there. So it turned out real well. Uh, other repairs that were uh, not as extensive were areas where we have the decking built uh, too close uh, to the log post, which traps water. And of course, you know, vegetation and shrubs and things like this uh, prevent, uh, you know, the logs from uh, drying out uh, in wet conditions and so forth. So we have shallow rot pockets where we just ground that back and then we would uh, incorporate some, uh, some cobra rods, which is a borate time capsule, uh, to prevent uh, further damage. Uh, so uh, we had the same condition over here on this log post Again the decking built too tight. We had to cut that decking back a little bit give these Log posts a chance to dry out when things get wet and grind that back and so forth uh, Over here along this edge here we had to take up the entire deck because we have this entire length uh, where the deck was built right up tight to this great big huge log and uh, trapping water in there again. So we uh, cut some clearance in there so water and moisture could drain down. And then we put a bunch of cobra rods in the bottom of that log. Uh, that's one log you would not want to have to replace. And so keeping these logs in good condition and good building practices is always worth it in the long haul. Okay. All right, so we're gonna come around to another type of repair that we did. We have a, uh, a log here that was completely rotten out, so we had to replace that one, take off all the trim, replace the door jam, and uh, put a new log in there. And we had a bunch of other smaller areas of rot pocket, rot pockets. Um, here we had uh, a veneer, a piece of new wood on there and touched it up with a little bit of Bondo. And, and uh, later on the next year or this year, uh, when we refinish the house, uh, all this wood is going to, uh, between the new wood and the old wood, it should blend out pretty good when it's all done. On the south side of this wall, we had an area where these two logs were pretty bad. We were able to take some older season dried dug fir and do some quarter sawn full length uh, inlays. And all that caulking there is just uh, temporary for now until we refinish the house. We had some pretty big open checks there and uh, we don't really endorse um, caulking checks all the time, but sometimes when they're big, huge checks and they're upward facing, then we like to try to prevent some of that moisture from collecting in there. Well, we're gonna come around to some other areas where we have conditions where a log was built in through a supporting girder log and we have a flat cut on top of that log uh, which again collects water and is a area of which you know you can have dry rot or wet rot conditions later on and some other areas of just smaller bondo fixes and then lastly we have another area on the garage wall over here 
where we had to do another veneer patch and uh, uh, most of the time, it's just uh, many times less expensive to do that than try to replace the entire log because that log is in good condition. It's just that maybe three or four inches in, it's become soft. And so we pull that out and then we find some dry wood and veneer that back in there with screws and Gorilla Glue and Cobra rods and Borate and all that good stuff. And we did a little, another little torch down patch on top of this log up on uh, this wall here where it was getting soft and so we had to do some uh, some veneer work there and some caulking and that type of thing so uh, if you own a log house make sure you stay on top of your maintenance issues very important to maintain your equity in these homes over the long haul because maintenance can be very expensive thanks for watching Bye-bye.